Welcome back to my channel. Here we are with the first installment of the pharmacy series. Today I will touch on prerequisites, pharmacy technician license, and certification. I don't like really long YouTube videos, so I'm just breaking everything up so that it's not only short and sweet and simple, but also easily accessible. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. To it, into it, let's do it. In my previous video, I touched on how some people choose to do the two year track, and that's where they just take the prerequisites and then apply to pharmacy school. Prerequisites are the core courses that programs want you to complete prior to applying to their program, uh, not only because it will give you a better background, also to use that as a way to weigh you know, your GPA and just academic ability. Your prerequisites for pharmacy school will vary depending on the program that you want to apply to. I only applied to one program because I knew exactly where I wanted to go. So it was pretty easy for me to uh, knock those courses out. But, um, I will drop a link below for you to be able to view the, all the schools in the United States of America and they'll have a link to their website and what they require for you to do but the prerequisites that I needed and are, um, I feel are really standard across other schools are general chemistry one and two organic chemistry one and two both with labs um, biochemistry general biology anatomy and physiology with lab uh, microbiology lab was required for me but it may not be required for another program physics with lab calculus statistics english composition one and two economics either micro or macro speech humanities electives social and behavioral sciences electives cultural diversity elective and others to total to 90 semester hours as a chemistry major with a concentration in biochemistry all the prerequisites that i needed for the farm school that i wanted to attend were embedded within the degree program so i didn't really have to worry too much about adding a class here and there however spacing out which class and you want to take and when you want to take it is important i started off with you know english courses speech courses humanities that's what i did along with my chemistry and physics for my first two years with the labs then my last two years i spent doing biochemistry and anatomy physiology and my biology coursework and so it worked out i wasn't you know too overwhelmed you would just want to make sure that you're not adding more to your plate than what you can handle managing campus involvement as well as your academic course schedule so you really just want to take everything into consideration i don't believe in rushing to get things done i don't believe in you know, c's get degrees i believe that a's get you paid so i was more so concerned with making sure yes i spaced it out and completed my you know degree within four years but also that i was excelling in my coursework as opposed to you know just getting by um, because you do want to stand out so as I mentioned earlier I am licensed and certified my recommendation is to get licensed first prior to certification some companies will pay for your certification exam after you've worked there for at least six months so I live in Georgia so what you can do is uh, type in Georgia Board of Pharmacy um, or you know you can go to the link at the bottom that will take you directly there but uh, if not, type in Georgia Board of Pharmacy, and then on the right hand side, you'll see apply online. And once you go there, it'll give you the link to apply for your license. It is $100. And um, after you do that, then you will complete a supplemental application. And on the application, you just get notarized and um, you need to get your fingerprints done as well. Also, I, I looked to see if like it was different for other states. So I, I tried Florida Board of Pharmacy and, and a website 
popped up. Now it wasn't the, you know, apply online didn't pop up on the right hand side like the Georgia site did, but you will see apply for license and then the instructions are pretty clear from there. In total, I, I paid like $150 for it, but it was definitely worth it. I got my license first, and then as soon as I got my license, I uh, filled out an application at the store that I went to work at. It really wasn't the store that I went to work at, but I am very grateful that God led me there because I definitely appreciate my pharmacy manager and um, how much of a help he has been to me throughout my pharmacy journey. So, this is my mic. Is it <laughs> yeah, so um, I applied to the company that I went to work at, and then I started to make phone calls to the nearest locations to me to figure out whether or not they were hiring. But you do want to keep in mind that when you're making the phone call, that that initial call is an interview, essentially. So you want to make sure that you're speaking properly, being kind. I didn't just jump in and say, are y'all hiring? I would say, hello, how are you? My name is Joy. I recently got licensed as a pharmacy technician. Um, is there a chance that y'all are hiring? And then from there, um, I was told that I should call back at a certain time, called again. That was basically another phone interview. And then after that, I was called in to interview at the store and then I got hired on the spot. Glory to God. Well, yeah, get, you know, licensed. Yes, the education is good. Do your prerequisites and do well in them. But experience, uh, I don't want to say experience, Trump's education because experience is education. You are learning as you go. I got certified like January of 2017, so this year. But I took my exam December 2016. So I didn't study for the exam. Some people take classes, buy books. I didn't study. It was really just the grace of God that got me through because I barely passed, just to be honest. I didn't have to pay $129 for the exam. I it was free. So definitely, definitely get licensed, work at the company for at least six months and then get certified from there. And certification is needed if you are looking to work in a hospital pharmacy. So the link to get certified is also below. And yeah, it's the direct link. So it, the steps are pretty clear from there. The only requirement difference, I guess, between getting certified and licensed is having a high school diploma. Or GED or equivalent you do need that in order to get certified the links down below it's pretty simple you'll apply then you'll schedule for an exam then you'll go on the exam day you'll give them your license um, you'll go to the room I can't remember how long the test took it really wasn't that long but you'll know your score as soon as it's over and you'll see whether or not you pass. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the first video. In case you are wondering, this is not my room. I am on vacation in California before the school year starts. So I figured why not record a video? I want, you know, the room is pretty nice. Okay. okay, but no. Yeah, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment box. Like the video subscribe follow me on Instagram Twitter or snapchat you know or add me on snapchat however it goes it's been real share share the video I know there's some pharmacy people out there 